here with uh, Greg Verdon from the uh, DOJ, who's going to be uh, speaking at our hearing on market concentration. Thanks very much for talking to us, Greg. Um, first of all, could I, uh, I start by, by asking, um, could you briefly explain to us some of the difficulties with using US Census Bureau uh, data to measure market concentration? Sure. Um, these are data that have been used for this purpose for a long time, but weren't designed for this purpose. Mm. The, the data are put together in a way that makes it easy for the people who submit the data, the people who compile the data, to do those jobs. Okay. Not to make it easy for us to interpret it the way we want. Mm -hmm. So it, it's um, what's called establishment data. So an establishment is something like a factory. So every establishment is placed in one category. It makes 10,000 products, it has to go in one box. Mm -hmm. So the box has to be defined big enough to make sense. Sure. So they are. So the, um, at the finest level of aggregation, the census divides the economy into a little over a thousand boxes. Right, okay. And then there are higher levels of aggregation. So a thousand boxes is, is very aggregated compared to the analysis we do in competition. Um, in fact, it's very commonly more than a hundred times as wide mm -hmm. as something we would call a relevant market. And th that's true even strictly on the product side. It gets worse when the relevant markets are local, which mm -hmm. they are in many industries, particularly in the service sector. Yeah. Because you know a lot of these service, you know, restaurants. You go down the street. I mean, yeah. Paris is way too big as a relevant market. So of course, the United States is way too big as a relevant market. Sure. So the data are just too highly aggregated. And while you might think, well, that just introduces some bias and some noise, mm -hmm. it's worse than that. It makes the data useless okay. for our purposes. Gotcha. Okay, so on that basis, what is your reading then of, of the evidence such as it is on um, what's happening to market power in, in the US? Well, I think we know a whole lot less than a lot of people think we know. Mm. I'm intrigued by the evidence that's come out on margins and I just haven't had the time to look into it carefully. I estimated that would take 200 hours of my time because it's not good enough to read the papers. Yeah. You have to reconstruct them from scratch. You have to use the actual data. Mm. You have to figure out what's going on in the econometrics. And a lot of different things may be going on. I just don't know. Yeah. So at present, I'm skeptical that there's been any increase in margins. If there's been an increase in margins, it can be for all kinds of reasons other than increased market power. Sure. And I just don't think we know very much. The one thing that people point to that we know is that we have some gigantic, very successful, very profitable companies. Sure. And they're so big that they have an effect on the overall economy. Mm -hmm. So that's true. If, and, but I don't think it's big enough to drive everything. Yeah. There are also sectoral shifts from lower margin industries to higher margin industries. That doesn't seem big enough to drive everything. Mm. So I think there's just a dozen things going on in these data. Sorting that out as a massive project, it will take a decade. Okay. Is there any particular piece of, of ev evidence or additional work that you'd like to see being done in this area? There's nothing in particular. I think the way that economic research proceeds um, is just fine and it'll happen here. People will publish and right now this research is very new, very yeah. little has been published. Absolutely. Other people will say, I don't think that's right. Yeah. And they will say why, they will take a different approach to the same data, they will use different data, they will um, do any number of things and explain explain why that's better than what's been done before. And mm -hmm. it'll take a while to get to something that might approach consensus, and we may never get there. Sure. But we're just starting down the road now. We're yeah. nowhere near a consensus. And what is odd now, in my experience, is that a lot of people in both academia and especially in the policy arena mm. are taking the latest still unpublished results as truth as academic consensus and saying we need to change our policies right away. Mm. Well, that's not how things worked in the past. They were much slower. That was a good thing. Mm. We need to take this slow. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. We'll, uh, we'll go and have the, the hearing now and it should be an interesting one.
Thank, Thank you very much.